Measure for Measure, one of Shakespeare's darkest comedies. Big come before us, Angelo. Mortality and mercy in Vienna live in thy tongue and heart. I have delivered to Lord Angelo, a man of stricture and firm abstinence, my absolute power and place here in Vienna. I will, as toward a brother of your order, visit both prince and people. Fornication, adultery, and all uncleanliness there. For the lover, the collector of Shakespeare is an absolute must-see. We've just stayed really true to the text. And the new deputy, now for the Duke, awakes me all the enrolled penalties. I'm sorry. Wait. It's just there as it was intended to be, and I think it allows this play in particular to really resonate. Proud man, dressed in a little brief authority, most ignorant of what he's most assured. She wants rules that she doesn't trust herself. And ask your heart what it doth know that's like my brother's fault. And I think she and Angelo are very similar in that way. <laughs> Fit thy consent to my sharp appetite. Angelo, the deputy, Lay by all nicety. succumbs to his carnal so passions tomorrow. and unrighteously uses his office to try to make his ends. Eyes, eyes. Had he twenty heads to tender down on twenty bloody blocks, he'd yield them up before his sister should her body stoop to such abhorred pollution. With every choice you make, there's a consequence. And Shakespeare makes that a big point. And hold no longer out, oh my dread lord. I should be guiltier than my guiltiness to think I can be undiscernible. 